All this cake needs is flour, eggs and 20 grams of dead insects. No, you haven't misheard. A team of scientists at Belgium's University of Ghent are trying to find a way to substitute dairy in cakes, cookies and waffles. They say deriving grease from insects is more green than dairy production. Um, they are more sustainable because they use less land. They are more efficient converting feed to weight. Um, they also use less water to produce and in this case they, are, uh, they can be produced within Europe. That will decrease the footprint that other type of uh, food sources um, bring because they come from far away, let's say South America or uh, Southeast Asia. By soaking the insects in a little bit of water and then mushing them with a kitchen blender before centrifuges separate a butter-like substance, a grease is made which the team used to bake with. But how does it go down outside of the lab? For me there's no difference. <laughs> so um, it's, uh, it's, it's actually better. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you would eat insect fat cakes again? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> no? no. <laughs> the team say that consumers can't taste the difference when a quarter of the milk butter is replaced with the fat from the insects. But they start to notice when it gets to the halfway mark. So who knows? One day you could be munching on a cockroach croissant as you head to the office or making your nearest and dearest a beetle birthday cake.